Hi everyone. Hi everyone. This is Smruti. Welcome to Q Automation classes. In the last class, we have seen how to uh, use the post method, right? With the help of the uh, Pojo classes, okay? Plain old Java object classes, okay? So if you see, we have uh, created the properties, right? And uh, whatever the properties we are going to pass those key value pairs, we have created those properties. And then uh, for that, we have uh, just uh, created the getters and setters, okay? And then uh, here, if you see user posts dot Java, yeah. So here, uh, if you see, we are creating the object of that uh, Pojo class, okay? And after creating the object of that Pojo class, we are kind of setting the values, right? So whatever values we are reading from our feature files, we are just passing them to that object, okay? And uh, if you see, and then that whole object we are passing it as the body okay uh, to our uh, to our body method okay so and that's how we pass our uh, request from uh, the request from our feature file to the uh, actual post call okay so this is through the uh, pojo class okay so there is another alternate way is available okay so that is we can even pass our data uh, from a uh, hash map okay so how to do that okay so for that one we can do one thing we need to define a hash map with uh, key and values okay you know because hash map will have the key and values right and uh, we can use that hash map to pass the post body to the call okay so what are the changes we are going to make to the uh, feature file okay so let's go and see do you need any changes in the feature file so i think we need to pass all those values we, we can do one thing we can create one more let's say 31 okay so let's say 31 transferring from qa to sd2 okay let's say sd2 smoothly okay this is also smoothly okay so now uh, this is a new set of the data we are going to pass, but we are not going to use the uh, Pojo class this time. Okay, so uh, let's do one thing. So let's uh, go to the uh, API class user posts class. Okay, and here uh, here user posts uh, uh, Pojo Pojo request body equals to new user post Pojo. Okay, so we don't need it basically. Okay, so what I'm saying. So instead of this, I can do one thing. Let me comment out then okay so now what i can do here okay so i'll create a hash map with the name post request body okay let's let's uh, create the same name so that it can be reused here so how to create a hash map let's say hash map okay key and value so what should be key what should be value so if you know uh, our key right if i go here right so if you see here uh, in the post call right so your key this is the key this is the value right this is key this is value so this is key this is value so everything is in the form of the string right so now it is easy for us so what we can say hash map up we can say string comma string okay and we can give the name post request body equals to okay so new hash map okay and here we can give the same string comma string okay fine okay so here if you uh, observe carefully everything is in the form of a string but sometimes in your request also sometimes you can have the string right sometimes you can have the uh, like the keys will always be string but values sometimes can be maybe you need to pass a number it is passed in the form of a string now let's say without double course you have to pass 28 sometimes right some apis will accept your uh, numbers okay and some apis uh, for some parameter keys you might need to pass the boolean value true or false right yes or no right this kind of things okay so in that case what will happen so all of your uh, values are not string right but your always all your keys would be string but all your values cannot be string let's say one out of all these uh, input parameters suppose one value is of uh, number type right suppose one uh, is of the uh, boolean type so in that case what you need to do you can take a uh, instead of taking hash map of the string comma string you can take hash map of string comma object okay because uh, 
if you take it object so it it will be like if you take the boolean also it will be valid if you take a uh, uh, number also integer also anything you take it will be valid okay so we need to pay little attention when you have a complex or like different types of data uh, types are present so in that case you need to take the this one as the object second value column as the object okay instead of taking the string so here both are having up the string type value so we can take string comma string okay so that makes sense okay so now uh, what we need to do so this is our key value pair we did so now we have to populate this right we have to add values for this one right so how to add so you know dot okay so there is two methods one is the let's go with the put method right so get and put i was going to tell so uh, the put method what we do we put the values to the uh, hash map right so dot put okay so string key so what what is the key so first key is nothing but id okay id okay so for that id what we are going to pass okay so for id we are going to pass nothing but this id what is this id if you are following me from uh, last session you can see this id is nothing but the id that is passed from here right this id so that is passed from here uh, to the step definition and from the step definition glue code it has been called and passed to the user post here right so let's see one more time so id okay so if i go here right so if you see here we are capturing that string id right and then that id we are sending it to the step definition right so okay so we are uh, from the step definition we are sending it to the api class okay so now this is how you uh, put the value okay so similarly we can have post request body dot put okay so post request body dot put so here we'll put for uh, id then we'll go with the title okay so within the double quotes put title okay title and the value should be the title okay now perfect okay so now post request body dot put one more okay so post request body dot put and here we are going to put the author okay so within the double quote just put the author okay so for author key what is the value the value will be the author that is passed from the your feature file okay awesome so these three things we have uh, put into our uh, hash map okay and now this whatever hash map is there so if you see our hash map what it will contain it will contain id this is nothing but 31 and title nothing but what is the title right so title is transforming qo to hd2 and then uh, author is like your uh, smoothie okay same so uh, this is how you will create okay and uh, we are not at all referencing to the pojo classes over here so this is not going to get called at all okay so if you see we have uh, commented it out right and everything else is going to remain same okay so everything else is going to remain same even our assertions and everything we're going to uh, keep it as it is in the next session we can see with how to go and find the particular node from using json path and how to validate them okay so as of now let's keep the validation also there and now we have to run it so let's run it and see uh, run the cucumber runner okay awesome so if you see it is passed okay so let's see go through the response if you see author id title so these are nothing but from your uh, whatever sop statement you have given okay and uh, id author and title okay everything is coming fine properly so if you go and uh, hit the url you can see a uh, 31 will come so earlier till 30 was there so now it should have 31 okay fine 31 uh, smruti and title is transferring from q to h2 okay so id title and author okay so here how it is how it is coming id author title okay so let's go and see in the same sequence we have passed or what see we have passed id title author so what did you uh, infer from here so we understood so the sequence doesn't matter so all the objects are there then it will go and uh, like if all the uh, key value pairs are there it will go and create an object for that one okay so this is how through the hash map we can create the uh, object okay so main thing here to note down is if you have different types of the data types in the uh, your uh, 
like values right so if you have boolean or you have a number whatever different different data types is mixed here so you can go with the object okay so go with the object so how to specify that i can say string of string and here instead of the string i can say object okay this is how you have to specify okay string of object equals to new hash map string comma object okay object so because object type is going to take everything okay so i'm not going to do it i can i'm happy with string because string is supported for my api call okay so this is all right okay so that's all to this class guys if you guys are really enjoying this session so i'll request you to subscribe to my channel key automation classes and please share this content with your friends and colleagues and if you guys have any doubt just put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible and uh, we have already completed so many cool series you can go through them and uh, stay tuned to the key automation classes for upcoming sessions thank you everyone bye bye